good morning it's saturday morning it's chilly i don't know what's going on with the weather it's been in the 90s all week and then today 40s i think it was 48 49 degrees somewhere around there and it's windy and it's cold i got my sweater on hi to the, hi to the ladies hi chickens i think it was last saturday when i showed you those grapes i think i could be totally wrong but I have to make that update. Oh. So, last time I talked about where I put the clip was on the 36 square on the fence. So I went from this rusty nail. Remember it was 36 to that clip. So, one, two, three, three four, three, five, 36, there's that clip. And in one week it has grown quite a bit that's amazing that's the growth of that grape this one's finally starting to kick in and grow i need to get clips for this one this one has reached the top of the fence so it's nice it's talking about those aphids they're in here too let me put the camera down real quick and get those aphids All right, yeah, so that's my great update. It's amazing how fast that's grown right there. All right, let's look at these runners that I've poked in here for my neighbor. Looks like they're starting to establish, except for this one, I had to rearrange this one. Uh, it had grown even further and it wasn't at where the roots would start growing, so I had to kind of start that one over again. This one's doing very well. New leaves growing and it's already shooting uh, shooting out another runner, but we don't want that. We don't want him to shoot out runners right now, so nip that one right there. Want to focus on? Well, let's see if that let's see if that will grow. I doubt it, but we want to focus on making roots. I need to get to those strawberries. I know they're really ripe. And some of them are getting eaten by slugs and ants, so I don't want to lose any more to the critters. So let's get going and harvest. All right, just finished my harvest. That's a bigger bowl of strawberries than last week. Check that out, that looks pretty good. Kids gonna love that once they come back from the park. Come back to a nice big bowl of strawberries for, uh, for a snack. This would be my third harvest already. Uh, you saw me harvest that last one last week with my kids, last Saturday. And then on Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday, I, I made a, another harvest, a uh, big old Ziploc bag. I harvested a bunch of strawberries out of there and I gave those to my neighbors. And so this is my third harvest of my strawberries, third in, in one week. And I want to show you just, it's not a very big patch. It's maybe 20 feet at 15, 20 feet at the most. And I still got tons growing and ripening on the vine still that I'll be able to harvest in a couple more days I look at this cluster it's just I still got the white ones and I still got almost ripened strawberries and they're all over all inside and then I didn't do anything special with them uh, you're supposed to like in the winter time you're supposed to cut the all the growth back and let them rest in the winter. I didn't do that. I didn't do anything. The most I ever did with this is uh, in the winter time, after I collected my leaves, I covered I covered it heavy with with leaves, and that's it. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I don't have any secrets about this. Uh, all right, let's get on to other things now, huh? All right, I uh, made some more sticks. 
Hopefully that's enough. And get it done and get all this, all, all the dirt moved. Hopefully it's uh, enough to fill that gap in. Well, there you have it. All my compost is gone. I'll rake that flat and let the grass grow back here. Probably the last time I'm gonna bury the potatoes. I just don't have any more compost and I'm completely out of leaves all over the place and I'm gonna have to figure out how to cover up my aisles since I took most of the leaves out of there. I just don't have to deal with the weeds in the coming months uh, it's been doing well with suppressing the weeds so far but now the ground's exposed uh, exposed to the sun is this part gonna weeds are probably gonna pop up now well now I'm gonna work on building trellises for my uh, green beans I'm just gonna do that with bamboo and uh, string and just keep them you know propped up so they don't plop over to the side Whew. okay well that's Get to the trellising. That's all I'm gonna do this year. Uh, last year I was just using sticks to hold them up and it, it didn't work very well, so. Just make that gap. Doesn't have to be super tight. Ugh. Yeah, and as they grow, you just slip them in between the strings and they'll hold them up. So as, as you can see, it's for my chilies. It's the same style as my green beans. Just as they get taller, I'm just gonna just you know, slip them in between the string. And I did I did this one because I put one in the middle, middle here, and same thing over here. <laughs> and like I said, as 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 they get taller, I'll just uh, add another string, and they and they can. Uh, and I'll hold them up up there also. All right, well that's my trellising for my plants.
Well, Riley, that's uh, trellising the uh, asparagus. Well, that will be my trellising for all my plants so far. Uh, still have an empty bed to fill up with plants. Uh, my cucumbers, I haven't trellised them yet. Uh, I think I'm going to pull my cucumbers and start from seed again because it's they're not doing so well. Uh, th they're about this tall and they're already starting to fruit so I think they got stunted while they were in the little pots before I planted them so I'm, I'm gonna start my cucumbers over again and I'll build that trellis later probably in a couple weeks now since I don't know how long it's gonna take to germinate but we'll see my name is Sang this is Growing Little Country Homestead thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one